I'm Kristen. And I'm Jameson. And we're Perpetual Moves. We've been living in our RV over three years full time now. And we just bought a summer cabin. Yes, it's gonna be our home base where we can come for a little bit of every summer and we'll still be on the road the rest of the year. But our first order of business at the house is getting the RV in the RV spot. It yes. doesn't fit. <laughs> we're lucky enough to find a house that already had a pad and a cover for the RV but our RV is both too tall and too long. Yep. <laughs> so let's take a walk over there and check it out. Yep. So our first week at the cabin has been all about getting this big bus in this tiny parking spot. Yeah, it's not been a small task to do it. No. We uh, had a couple of different ideas and a handyman that came to the house to look at something else had a recommendation on what we actually did. Yeah, so he let us know that if we tried to raise the roof, which was our initial plan, that we would have to pull permits and it would just be more costly and take longer. And we really wanted to get the RV parked. Um, so you can tell it's, it's in the spot, uh, but we have lots of footage from the last week that we're gonna try to put together and take a look back at uh, everything it took to get it to this point. Yep, few rentals, a few phone calls and some neighbors and a, a few sore muscles yeah. and <laughs> body's not the same anymore all right let's go so we bought a new house with this awesome rv parking port we're too big yeah, the bus is too darn tall. Yeah. So day one in our new summer cabin and we are going to find a way to make the bus fit. Got to take the concrete pad out, or at least a lot of it. Yeah, we think it's about a four foot or four inch concrete pad. So we went to a machinery rental place and mm -hmm. we got this bad guy and it is going to concrete hopefully... lock behind saw. Yeah, tear it up and tear it out. We've got to find a place to put that bus. Yep. All right, let's get to it. Yeah. Picked up a wheelbarrow while we were out. Definitely gonna need that in this life. Probably pretty heavy. Careful with that saw blade, too. Did it ground? Nope, the saw didn't. Cool. All right, this is gonna be our best friend today. This is our second rented power tool of the day. So yesterday was a long day. Yesterday was a long day. I was able to get the back, like, <laughs> not even quarter section. Maybe of, one eighth. What? Maybe an eighth. Maybe an eighth of the concrete removed, but uh, with a jackhammer and a concrete saw and sledgehammer. Uh, my back and my body ached at the end of the day, so we called in reinforcements. <laughs> Great local contact here that we met last night. Uh, 
met a friend of his and called him this morning and he had availability so in an hour he's done what I did in three. Yeah. So hopefully we have enough room. Four inches of concrete we cut out just the middle. So hopefully we can drive the RV in the middle. Yep. With some expert help, we just got all of the concrete out of the way in the RV port. And now is the real test. After all of that work, does the RV fit? So far, we haven't been able to get it to fit. Um, and we can't come in from the back where we're parked right now because the back has got some extra braces. So we're gonna come back around to the road and see if we can Back in from here. Okay, so the answer is no, we still don't fit because there's so much of an angle that when our nose is down, the butt is up and it's still too high to clear that AC on the roof. So I think we're gonna start shoveling. I mean, there's absolutely no way with the concrete in we would have fit. No, now we know that. Yeah. 